everybody. Um, clearly, notifications are not going out. And that sucks. Sarate, 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 rescued by Mary. Getting arrested is the new getting shot, says Normie. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and wait a little bit and hopefully let some people roll in here, guys. So it looks like notifications aren't going out or something. Um this other arrest will piss you off even more, though. This Joshua Martinez arrest. Want to give you the details on this? This one, this one's really going to piss you off. I'm trying to get the judge's name on this too, though. It was a corrupt judge that had him thrown in a cage. Um, and I'm trying to get a hold of somebody to find out what what the name of the judge is. Where's your mustache? Uh, Normie, I, I don't like it. I didn't like it, so I got rid of it. It, it doesn't feel comfortable. It's not comfortable. But this is. <coughs> Can you turn up your mic? It's sort of low. Um. No? No? Hello? Hello? I can try to put it closer to my mouth. <coughs> Only beard rides from now on. Um, did anybody here get a notification? No more mustache rides. Did anybody here get a no uh, notification that, that we were live? It's getting better, hard to hear you. How's mama doing? She's good. She's good. Yes, people are just rolling in real slow. A lot of yeses, a lot of noes. It's okay if I don't look at your lips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nobody likes it for the most part. Almost nobody likes it, but it's it's really comfortable. So let me see if I can actually call somebody. Oh, come on. It's a girl. It's a girl. Ten pounds. Ten pounds, six ounces. All right. Well, I can't get a hold of her, um, so I'll get the I'll get the information about who this tyrant judge is later, and I'll go ahead and just move forward. Okay, she says she'll call back in 30 minutes. Um, yeah, 10 pounds, 6 ounces. So Josh Martinez, uh, give me a one if you guys already know who he is, if you're already familiar with who Josh Martinez is. Josh Martinez is a freaking beast, I'll tell you that. Um... A lot of people are not even aware of some of his earliest um, involvement in activism because most of the stuff that he was doing over the years, other people were recording. He was just doing it, and he wasn't, like a lot of us, he was, he was doing activism, but he wasn't recording it and uploading it. Um, and so a lot of his earlier stuff, nobody, uh, a, a lot of people... A lot of people saw it, but didn't uh, then later on, they didn't realize, oh, that was you? Joshua Martinez is the one who, t who uh, told a, a judge that she was in contempt. 
Yeah, let me, uh, I will grab his channel and share it to the chat. Sorry, I'm in the, uh, I'm in there right now. Let me show that. Uh, scrolling through here. Joshua Martinez, where's the share? Oh, it's because I'm on a computer, not a. Oh, come on. I can't paste it there. Thanks, Sarate. Sarate, thank you. <coughs> Joshua Martinez told the judge that she was in contempt. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. It undermines the writer's message and the word choice is bland. Grammarly's cutting edge technology helps you craft compelling, understandable writing that makes an impact on your reader. Much better. Are you ready to give it a try? Installation is simple and free. Visit Grammarly.com today. All right, thanks for sharing the link there, guys. City versus Joshua Martinez. One zero five three one six five eight five a. Okay, Mr. Martinez, since you have informed me that I am in contempt of court and that you are in fact in charge of this courtroom, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sentence you today to direct contempt of court. I will give you an opportunity to apologize if you choose to do so and behave in a manner that I consider appropriate. I'm sorry, I'm watching part two. Guys, we need to start with part one. Let's start with part one. City versus Joshua Martinez. One zero five three one six five eight five A. Good afternoon. Hello. On the charge of having a suspended driver's license on April twelfth. What is your plea, sir? Uh, just I have a couple of questions before we proceed. I, I don't understand the nature and cause of the charges. Well, you're charged with driving on a suspended, canceled, or revoked driver's license. Sir. Okay. Is that a criminal offense or it's civil? A criminal. Offense, criminal. Okay. Is there a a sworn statement against me or injured party? I believe you probably received a citation on April 12th. That would be the criminal complaint filed against you. Okay. And is there a, a injured party or damage to property here against it's you? It's charge brought by the city of Las Vegas, sir. Okay. So the city is the, the victim in the case? The city is the, yes, victim? the charging part. So they're yes. the victim? Sir, they're, the victim element is a different legal term than is used. Uh -huh. The city is the party making the allegations against you, yes. Now, the first time that I saw this video, too, okay, the sound is low. Here, sorry, I'll turn up the, the uh, video sound, too. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys, I thought it might have been low. Uh, desktop audio. We're going to turn that up. The, so the audio on the video is low, too, right? James has a leprechaun look. Okay, so the first time that I watched this video, I didn't even actually understand a lot of the stuff that he's, that he's saying, but um, she really doesn't like what he's saying. Um, both are low. You guys have your volume up all the way and my sound sucks, huh? Well, that sucks. I'm going to have to yell. And, uh, we'll turn the desktop volume up. This, this video that we're watching is actually pretty low audio too. So that's, um, we'll go ahead and start it over. I didn't realize the points that he was making here. He wasn't, uh, I mean, she realized that he was making points. The first time I watched this, I didn't have a clue um, what he was really Zero saying. Five three one six five eight five a Good afternoon. Hello. On the charge of having a suspended driver's license on April 12th. What is your plea, sir? Uh, just I have a couple of questions before we proceed. I, I don't understand the nature and cause of the charges. Well, you're charged with driving on a suspended, canceled, or revoked driver's license. Sir. Okay. Is that a criminal offense or it's civil? Criminal, offense, criminal. Okay. Is there a, a sworn statement against me or injured party? I believe you probably received a citation on April 12th. That would be the criminal complaint filed against you. Okay. And is there a, a injured party or damage to property here against it's you? It's charge brought by the city of Las Vegas, sir. Okay. So the city's the, the victim in the case? The city is the Guys, this is key. I like the way he's saying this. The city is the victim in the case. The city. She doesn't want to talk about that. She does not want to talk about that. 
by the city of Las Vegas, sir. Okay, so the city's the, the victim in the case? The city is the, yes, victim? the charging part. So they're yes. the victim? Sir, they're, the victim element is a different legal term than is used. Uh -huh. The city is the party making the allegations against you, yes. Okay, so... What is your plea if, on if the, the charge? city Mr. Is, Martinez, is the, Mr. if they are the today victim, your, Mr. Martinez, I would like to I am in charge this of this courtroom court. and you're going to stop no, it. we are in charge of the courtroom. Now. Marshall, would you show Mr. Martinez Bam! the inside of our holding tank, please? You're not going to tell me who's in charge of my courtroom, Mr. Martinez. Stupid ho Hell yeah, Josh. Hell yeah. You're going to stop it. No, we are in charge of the courtroom. Mr. Martinez, I, would like to I am in charge this of this courtroom court. and you're going to stop it. No, we are in charge of the courtroom. I am in charge of this courtroom. I am in charge of this courtroom. Whatever I say goes, the law doesn't matter. I'm in charge of this courtroom. Okay, so. What is your plea if, on if the city is, is No, the, Mr. we are in charge. Today, victim, Mr. Martinez, I, would like to I am in charge this of this courtroom court. and you're going to stop no, it. we are in charge of the courtroom. Now. Marshall, would you show Mr. Martinez the inside of our holding tank, please? You're not going to tell me who's in charge of my courtroom. We have the guns. We're in charge of the courtroom. Joshua Martinez, do you have a gun in the courtroom? No, Joshua Martinez, you don't have a gun in the courtroom. Therefore, you are not in charge of the courtroom. It has nothing to do with law and order and, 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 and uh, anything like that. It has to do with, we got the guns, we told you to shut up, now go sit in the tank. Room, Mr. Martinez. Go but hell go yeah, Josh. Marshall. That is direct contempt of court. Tank, please. You're not going to tell me who's in charge of my courtroom, Mr. Martinez. Go ahead and go with the marshal. That is direct contempt of court. Also, the first time I saw this video, I didn't realize that you have to be warned before you can be held in contempt of court. You have to be warned that if you don't stop doing what you're doing, you will be held in contempt of court. You, are in contempt. you guys hear that? You hear what he says on the way out? That is direct contempt of court. He tells her you are in contempt. On his way out, he tells her you are in contempt. All right, part two. So uh, these videos, uh, as far as I understand, I believe um, have had millions of views. Meet the Landers, the revolutionary new standing. I think they've had millions of views on other people's uh, channels. But he just barely started doing YouTube a few months ago, and I told him, hey, dude, you got to upload your stuff to YouTube. Um, he had been doing some stuff on Facebook and whatever. I was like, no, 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 the audience is over here. There's a lot of people over here that need and that want and need to see what you're doing. Um, so he just recently started up. Desk from stuff. iMover, featuring the latest. I'm going to skip the ad okay, because the audio room, Would you like is. to do that? All right, here's part two. City versus Joshua Martinez. Thank you. One zero five three one six five eight five A. Okay, Mr. Martinez, since you have informed me that I am in contempt of court and that you are in fact in charge of this courtroom, I'm going to go ahead and sentence you today to direct contempt of court. I will give you an opportunity to apologize if you choose to do so and behave in a manner that I consider appropriate. Joshua Martinez, you apologize to your master. Three or four. You do not act like these people are hired to work for us. For courtroom, would you like to do that today, Mr. Martinez? I would like to proceed only if I can have my uh, questions answered. That's all I want. That wanted. wasn't my question, sir. Did you wish to have the opportunity to apologize and proceed in a manner that I consider appropriate for the courtroom? What would I be apologizing? It apologize? is a yes or a no question. What would I be apologizing for? For your direct contempt of court, sir. All I was asking was legal questions, ma'am. Thing 57 says spit. I agree, Thing 57. This woman is trash. I disagree, sir. To tell me that you are in charge of this courtroom and tell me that I am in contempt is... Guys, you have no idea how out of control Las Vegas is. It's not asking legal questions. It is contempt of court. I'm going to ask you the question... All I was asking was legal questions, ma'am. I disagree, sir. To tell me that you are in charge of this courtroom and tell me that I am in contempt is not asking legal questions. It is contempt of court. Wait a second. He was actually asking legal questions, and she interrupted and started yelling at him because she didn't like the questions, because the answers to the questions were extremely uncomfortable for her. I apologize for your me. direct contempt of court, sir. All I was asking was legal questions, ma'am. 
Guys, this is out of control. To tell me that you are in charge of this courtroom and tell me that I am in contempt is not asking legal questions. It is contempt of court. I'm going to ask you the question one more time. Did you wish to apologize and proceed in a manner I consider appropriate in this? Whoa! What? Guys, whose courtrooms do they think these are? In a matter that she thinks is appropriate? She thinks it's appropriate for you to shut the hell up and give her money. And proceed in a manner I consider appropriate in this courtroom or not. What the hell is wrong contempt, with this woman? I'm going to sentence him to 15 days in jail. And we'll set it for a video 15 days from today. Actually, he can just be released on it and given a new court date. Okay. Time. okay thank you. Sir, I would suggest you stop speaking now. Shut up, bitch. Marshall, you're going to want to close the door. Just shut up and give me your blood, says Truth God Allentown. This is a very old video, that guy, Scott. Now, the reason I'm showing you this video is because this is Joshua Martinez. And I wanted and get to introduce anybody who hasn't seen who he is, doesn't hasn't connected all the dots, and doesn't know exactly who he is. I uh, wanted to show people himself when he's released. Uh, most people have seen this video. Like I said, this video has been um, on other people's channels for a long time. Joshua Martinez just fairly recently started doing YouTube, though, and so uh, he. This was the first video that he uploaded to his YouTube channel. Um, he was also present um, when the Bundys were being tried in federal court in Las Vegas. Um, James, you look like you're in a bunker. Yes, I am. Uh, he was also uh, present at the federal courthouse when when the Bundys were being tried. You remember, you guys all remember the 2014 Bundy standoff just outside of Las Vegas, right? In Nevada. You guys all remember that. Um, and then the Bundys were tried in federal court. Well, they weren't even actually tried. It, it really ended up just being everything was thrown out. They were just acquitted. Uh, everything was just thrown out. Well, he was there um, as one of the protesters, one of the more, anyways, so he was arrested while he was out there at that federal courthouse for failure to ID. Um, oh, come on, load. Please don't do this. If it's not loading, that probably means we're about to have a crashed live stream. And the reason I'm, I'm showing you guys this stuff is because, like I said, I want you guys to really have a good idea of how OG this activist is. He's not new to this. He's been around for a long time. He's been fighting for our rights for a lot longer than I, I've been out there doing it. Um, he's been out there doing it a lot longer than a lot of us have. Like I said, he just wasn't uploading his own videos to YouTube, but he has been fighting this fight for us for a long time. Um so now that we've got a good amount of people in here, we've got about 240 people in here. Let me tell you what happened to Joshua Martinez about 30 minutes ago. Um, this was shared by Ooh. Kelly Stewart. Um, she's another activist that was heavily involved in sharing the Bundy story. And if it weren't for folks like Kelly Stewart, Rob Lamb, um, Gavin Syme, um, Joshua Martinez, a lot of these other folks, uh, the Bundys wouldn't have gotten the press that they needed. With with these uh, cases of, of corrupt government and actual conspiracies that aren't conspiracy theories but are actually provable conspiracy facts, we aren't. The mainstream media typically doesn't share this stuff, right? They don't share it in the way that it needs to be shared. And so social media and folks like this who are doing independent journalism are the ones who end up uh, sharing it. Um, and so these are the folks who, who really made it possible for the Bundy's real story to get out. So Kelly Stewart um, just shared about five hours ago. Um,
that he had been arrested, and it's not showing up on here. I don't know why. It's on. It's showing up on my phone, but it's not showing up on here. So I'll just uh, I'll just read it from my phone. This is really going to piss you off. So he's so after this, he started doing a few First Amendment audits. Okay, um, and conspiracy, actual theory, not yet. He started doing some First Amendment audits. He saw, um, you know, that going on and going around, and he, you know, he knows how to assert his rights very well. So I was like, dude, yeah, go try it out. Um, so she says, breaking news five hours ago. Dog, dog, gone it. Joshua Martinez has been arrested. Last year, he took a misdemeanor plea deal for the false concealed carry without a permit, uh, without a permit gun charge he had. Today, he was supposed to be sentenced for that, which was going to mean he would be placed on probation for a specific time for that plea deal. So he was going to take a plea deal on this. What happened is he was at a nightclub that he worked at. He always open carried rather than conceal carrying because he didn't want to pay the government to get a license to conceal carry. So he just chose to always open carry because he didn't have to have a license to open carry. Five Las Vegas Metropolitan Police officers who clearly saw his firearm said that he was concealed carrying his firearm. If he was concealed carrying it, they wouldn't have seen it. Anyways, another case of, you know, why we need cameras all the time. Um, because five cops will sit there and lie on the stand. They will perjure themselves. They have no problem whatsoever committing crimes and then lying and, and committing perjury on the stand. So anyways, that, so he, uh, he realized that, look, five cops are going to testify against me on the stand. He decided he was just going to take a plea deal. He had bigger battles to fight. He was just going to take a plea. There was no video. And so all it's going to be is his word against five cops. You're going to lose, right? Um, it doesn't matter if you're guilty or not. You're, you're likely to lose. Um, so he was going to take the plea deal. So he went in to be essentially sentenced, placed on probation for a specific time for that plea deal, where the judge saw his videos of him doing First Amendment audits, and she was pissed. She was pissed to see Joshua Martinez exercising his rights. How dare he exercise his rights? Um, he has a popular YouTube channel that shares videos of recording police in public locations, and the videos reveal that some law enforcers do not know the laws that protect the First Amendment rights to film in public. Nonetheless, it pissed the judge off, and his hearing was going very poorly, so she had him rearrested, and he is, and, and is, he is revising his plea deal to face trial instead of taking the probation misdemeanor deal. Uh, plea deal. Remember, he was arrested in 2017 at the nightclub he worked at, accused of carrying his handgun concealed. Um, he had a full leg holster on, and the gun was completely visible. He never, ever con uh, carried concealed and refused to get a permit, um, so he always carried open, especially at work. He could get seven more years if convicted. And since about five police, uh, Metro Police officers arrested him, all claiming the gun was concealed, um, it, it's likely he'd be convicted. Um, he's likely going to need financial help to beat this charge, and he may or may not be released pre-trial. That will probably be decided next week at a hearing. So, essentially what they've done is they, they've backed out on their on their deal that they were offering him literally because he is out there exercising his rights in public. Um, I am trying to get the name of this judge. This is Las Vegas. This is where High Desert Community Watch was also very recently arrested um, just minutes ago, uh, less than an hour ago, I believe, High Desert Community Watch was arrested. Um, and uh, I am actually going <laughs> to. All right. Um. Tell, 
Texas Sheepdog uh, went live with a, uh, a, a breaking news. Um, I, I wanted to see if he was saying something, if he had something about High Desert Community Watch. He's just um, uh, reminding people that we need auditors to audit the auditors that are auditing the auditors that are auditing the auditors. Touche. Um, Justin Pulliam also just went live. So with everybody going live, I think I'll go ahead and uh, I, I'm going to recap this one more time in case in case anybody came in this new. Joshua Martinez has also been arrested. High Desert Community Watch was arrested probably about an hour ago for uh, a warrant for interfering. Um, my wildest guess is that what they meant by interfering was that he was recording Las Vegas police and criminals hate cameras. I think that that's what they meant by uh, interfering. And that is the only thing that I can think of. Um, so I, I went live with that news, went to lay down and go to bed and started looking at my Facebook and found that five hours ago, somebody shared with me that Joshua Martinez was also arrested, also in Las Vegas, also on retaliatory BS. Speechless, says Slain2. Thank you, Speechless, for the 199. Um, and Joshua Martinez was actually arrested because he was supposed to be taking a plea deal on a bogus charge, but he was going to take the plea deal because there's no video, and it's going to be five cops' word against his word, so he was going to take the plea deal. They went into court today to, to finish everything out. The judge found out that Josh is exercising his rights with a camera in Las Vegas on a regular basis and said, no, forget it, um, no more plea deal. We're going back and we're redoing this. You're going to trial. In, in direct retaliation for Joshua Martinez exercising his rights, simply because he's out there making YouTube videos exposing corrupt government officials, the, the judge took away the plea deal and said, no, you're going to trial on this. Um, the Michael Malloy Show. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, we've got Justin Pulliam is live right now, and I want to go watch that. And uh, TX Sheepdog is also live, so go check them out. And I'll see you guys in the chats over there. Thanks for jumping on. And please spread the word. Guys, we're going to need some help out there in Vegas. We're going to need... As far as I'm concerned, we're going to need some phone calls. I'm going to find out who this judge is, and I will share the information with you. We are going to find out who these people are, and we need to contact them and let them know. We know who you are, and we are sick and tired of it. Enough is enough. Right, Joe Grimaldi? Right, Joe Grimaldi? Enough is enough. And if you're one of those people out there retaliating against our activists for exercising their free speech and, and, and right to film and public rights, then we're going to hold you accountable. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, though, but literally. Thanks, Coco Warrior. All right, guys, we'll see you in the, uh, we'll see you in the other folks' streams. Bye.